Hi there, I'm Andrew. Welcome to Urban Rider for another look at some of the world's finest riding gear. Today we're going to be introducing you to the Ugly Bros range of protective motorcycle riding trousers. Ugly Bros come from LA in the US and they've been around since 2004, so they're by no means a new brand. Their philosophy will be very familiar to us in the urban riding market, which is creating quality looking, stylish and comfortable gear for use on and off the bike without sacrificing on protection. So these guys, having had that time to perfect and improve their brand and their offering, come into us at a perfect point in the brand's journey. And we've handpicked a selection from both the men's and the women's ranges for your delectation. And they're already in store at our Urban Rider HQ and online at urbanrider.co.uk. So we're gonna give you a brief overview of the consistent features through the brand's collection in our offering. Then we're gonna have a very quick look at some of the jeans here too. So throughout the range, Ugly Bros are focused on a small batch production, which gives them real attention to detail and quality of craftsmanship. And that is really apparent when you get up close and personal with these jeans. The tailoring and the styling of them is unashamedly motorcycle inspired. Some of the other motorcycle jean manufacturers in the market try to make their jeans look as little like motorcycle jeans as possible. That's very much their goal. These guys go the other way. And these are clearly inspired by motorcycle practicalities, things like the knee, joints, the knee seams going on, and the ribbing panels really gives you clues to these being a motorcycle-focused garment. Now, these have, across their range, a really wonderful stretch to the fabric, and the tailoring is spot on as well. So this makes them very, very comfortable for use all day on and off the bike. One of the things about them that's fair to say at this point is that they are not the most technically protective in terms of the actual fabric use throughout the jean out of all the brands in our offering, but they are arguably the one that I'm most likely to use from a comfort point of view. It's no good having a very protective jean with armor that requires you to take off the jeans and fanny about with for ages. If you're not gonna do that, I'm quite a lazy urban rider and day to day, if I've got very protective jeans that require that, I'm either likely not to use the armor or not to wear those jeans. So for these and across the Ugly Bros range, one of the key features is the ease in which the armor inserts. So you see this knee panel area across the front, that's where the armor pockets go in. You simply take the CE approved level one knee armor, which comes included in the price in conjunction with the hip armor, that simply slots into this opening through the upper side of that pocket, allowing the arm to sit perfectly into position. One of the things you may be wondering is, does it really sit in position? Does it not pop out at the top of the pocket? And the answer is a very assertive no, it sits perfectly as it should. The tailoring of the pocket is very, very snug, but the stretch to the fabric means that despite the snug fit, it doesn't feel uncomfortable. And when you are bent, in the position on the bike, even if you have a more collapsed seating position, it's not gonna be uncomfortable, you're not really gonna notice it. But when you get to your destination, it simply slides out in a second and you're good to go for the rest of the day. Now for me, that's a real bonus and therefore I'm very happy personally with the trade-off of having a genuine, normal, standard denim outer through the majority of the jean and simply focusing on the armor for my protection. So there are other jeans in the range, such as the Two Slub K. So here we have the motor pool, and this is probably the most popular jean. But the other one, the Two Slub K, does feature DuPont Kevlar panels for extra reinforcement. So there is some degree of extra protection to the lining of the jeans if that's something you want to go for. But funnily enough, the motor pool, despite just being a denim outer, a slightly heavier weight of denim perhaps than you'd normally get in your usual jeans that you'd wear day to day, these are the most popular ones in their range because they offer that all day comfort and that ease of use with the armor combined with this wonderful Ugly Bros styling. Something else to mention across the range as a whole is the issue of sizing. Now Ugly Bros go to great lengths on their own website to make this clear and it seems a little confusing, but we'd ultimately summarize their sizing as they fit basically true to size you may need to go a size up if you're borderline. Ugly Bros themselves advise to go a whole size up from your normal jeans. Now that's not because these actually fit small, but basically because all other jeans fit big. The Ugly Bros jeans, because they're an online retailer and they want things to be as clear and transparent for people as possible, have done the sizing true to size, true to the actual waist measurement multiplied by two when laid flat across a surface so that people can be clear on what it is they're buying. Now I still fit the 32s here because they're basically the right size for me. But the reason I don't need to go up is because of this wonderful stretch to the fabric. So I end up with a really beautifully fitting garment that fits me really nicely across the waist and also has a lovely slim fit down throughout the majority of the leg that the stretch allows me to have that all day comfort too. So it's not necessarily the case you need to size up. But if you have any questions about that, do check the size guides on our website and do email us info at minder.co.uk. The leg lengths go up proportionally in conjunction with the waist size. So they go all the way up to a 35 leg if you have a 36 waist. That's the only thing that I wonder about. There aren't options for different leg lengths in relation to different waist sizes too. Because if you're a 36 and you're very short, 
you may not want a 35 inch leg. You can still take the inseam up, you can tailor it as normal, it's just regular denim, but you'll need to double check on the height of the knee armor as well. So the hip armor that comes included in the price, I mentioned very briefly, that does fit inside a Velcro pocket on the inside of the jeans. For me, it's not a big deal because I'm actually being honest with you, likely just to only wear them for the knee armor protection anyway. So you've got these stretch panels sitting above the knee areas and also underneath the belt loop on the rear, which have this wonderful stretch to them, which also gives it that distinctive styling as well. And you've got these cargo pockets on the side here on the motor pool trouser. So the motor pool here that I have next to me is in the olive color, and we also have it available in the black. And shortly there'll be a gray version coming too. In some of the other jeans that we have in the range, we've got the two slub K and these jeans are designed to have a very similar aesthetic, but they do away with the cargo pockets. And this is made with a similar weight of denim on the outer, but this is reinforced with genuine DuPont Kevlar liners in the impact areas on the knee and on the seat of the pants as well, giving this an abrasion element to back up the protective element offered by the knee armor. As I mentioned, interestingly, the motor pool remains the most popular one in their range. We also have another jean in the range called the Triton, which has a sort of leather appearance to it at a glance, which is actually a denim coated with a polyurethane fabric, which gives it a slight sheen, and over time will age really nicely, making these trousers look fantastic. And if you're looking for something like that, there isn't a lot of choice on the market. We've done jeans in the past, they always proved very popular, but they didn't have the quality of craftsmanship that the Triton have. In the ladies range, we have a really great product we're really excited about called the Twiggy jean. Like in the men's, this is a nice slim fitted jean. We've had really good feedback already from customers in the store saying that they would buy these even if they weren't made for motorcycle jeans, which is probably the highest praise a motorcycle jean can get. Normally, we really struggle with the ladies wear, so it's great that we have something with a really flattering cut. It's not just a smaller version of the men's. These are all day comfortable and they work in a very similar way to the motor pool that we have here. And those are available in store and they fit size-wise exactly the same as the men's. So here Harriet's wearing the 26 inch waist. She's a UK dress size eight and 26 should directly translate into an eight and they fit perfectly. She said that they are borderline in terms of if you are like in the men's borderline between two, go up a size, they fit really, really well. So it's not necessarily the case just to reiterate that you do have to, but you can check the size guide similarly with the women's at urbanmarty.co.uk. So we think there's a fantastic range here of jeans that have a really great motorcycle inspired aesthetic to them with that all day comfort and protection too. We wanna to know what you guys think so you can leave us comments in the section below as always. We love hearing from you and we'll get back to you. But stay tuned and subscribe. There's so much wonderful stuff coming out from Ugly Bros and other leading brands in our store and we'll be telling you all about it very shortly. So we'll see you for another review of the world's finest riding gear very soon. Till then, goodbye.